Namaste everyone and welcome to yet another podcast on Om Incense Show with DJ a show that helps you increase your incense quotient so if you are an incense enthusiast consider subscribing so i'm really sorry guys i have not been able to give you the uh, you know the review episodes because i've really been busy at home because of diwali there's white wash going on in my house and i've been really tied up with this So today what we are going to do is you might want to treat this as podcast and just relax while I give you company but this is not going to be a reading. Today I'm going to give you around 7 options of how you can make your Diwali more fragrant. You know for Indians world over this is a really special time and this is the time when we actually tap into the energy of uh, Lakshmi to get around that you know a life full of good opportunities and wealth and prosperity and all things good into our lives so we invite all of that energy and just like everybody all of us are aware that cleanliness is next to godliness in our culture in the indian vedic culture good fragrance is supposed to be a harbinger of good opportunities in your life it brings about good luck it's good vibes so good fragrance actually is supposed to get you next to you know uh, to your best self and you know become godly in that sense so uh, that's the reason that we uh, in the indian culture if you've seen we have this special emphasis on you know whether it's attar or perfumes or things like that that brings about good uh, fragrance like incense etc it's a big part of our life and if we talk of it astrologically Lakshmi is represented through good fragrance. So, good fragrance is a is a sign of uh, Shukra or Venus, and it brings about good luck in your life. It's the is the sign of uh, prosperity, and good fragrance is actually something that helps us tap into that energy. So that's the reason you know we we light a la- we light lamps and we have uh, lights all over our house during Diwali but fragrance is something that we hardly ever think of. So this Diwali I want you to think of having a very fragrant Diwali because fragrance is a sure shot way of inviting Lakshmi energy into your house and in your life. So I'll be sharing seven fragrance options with you that you can use around your house uh to get fragrance you know to have a fragrant diwali so we'll be discussing seven main points and there are three bonus points that i'll be sharing with you so let's start with the obvious so let's start with the obvious Well, let's talk of incense sticks or or incense. So we have various forms of incense as we are all aware of. So we have incense sticks, and then we have dhoops and cones and uh, cups and all those things. So what I would suggest you do is if you have nice incense sticks. So like I have my you know the Parimal Mandir Chandan ones, and I have my Golok ones. So those I'll be lighting. outside of my house so at the main entrance of the house in the balcony on the terrace in the garden wherever outside you can place it that's going to be a good one inside the house you could have a uh, bamboo less incense the dhoop batis that we have you could have gau dhoop you could have cones so all of those things will be good options i do not suggest incense cups as such inside the house because incense cups gives out a lot of smoke which uh may not be something that you are looking you know for on diwali night because everybody will be home and uh, too much of smoke is might be you know uh, a cause of concern for some people so but just in case if you actually really want to have dhoop cup well you are more than welcome to do that and you could even place the same at the entrance of your house also so that is about incense then the other thing that we have is camphor vaporizers we have quite a few brands in the market these days that have it the most obvious ones are carpure or kapoor from cycle brand 
and the other one is mangalam of course so mangalam has quite a few camphor products and i've heard those are good i haven't used them but i've heard that it's a good one i've only used mangalam camphor and i really like them so you could go for camphor vaporizers these are really good you know have two or three of them and place them in all of your rooms and just let that thing if if it has an option of uh, being on low just put it on low so that you have light camphoraceous fragrance all around and while uh, while talking of incense i'm sorry i forgot that point when you're using incense this particular night you might just want to go for natural fragrances so like you would want to go for incense fragrances that are related to lakshmi ma i've already discussed that in one of the episodes earlier but just to give you some idea you could use rose google camphor sandal whatever you know these kind of natural stuff you do not want to go for contemporary fragrances or uh, you know uh, anything that is like too modern or too too industrial for that matter i i actually find them very industrial so just stick to natural fragrances and then we talked about the camphor vaporizers camphor vaporizer is a very easy way of uh, you know uh, having camphor fragrance in your house the third could be essential oil diffusers and we have these in various forms so we have some which are like plug in so you usually plug them in your uh, socket and you you place either the camphor or a little water with a few drops of essential oil in the cup and then you just switch it on and it goes on there is another one where you have the wire thing is there is the same thing it's an essential oil diffuser you put water in it a few drops of uh, essential oil and then you plug it that also is there there's another option and uh, which is like the non electrical one so we have the ones where we use candle light oh, sorry tea light candles uh so you could have those but if you are somebody like me and if you do not want to buy too many tea light candles because i feel they uh, you know it causes a lot of carbon foot you know it it gives a lot of carbon footprint because that aluminum thing is to be used only once so if you are somebody like me you might just want to use dia instead of tea light candles that's what i do for my diffusers um then we have those uh, a ceramic ones you know so the diffuser comes in various formats you could also use a mixture of havan samagri and essential oils and place them in the on the top of the diffuser instead of water and essential oil you could place some kind of resin or camphor you know anything the choice is endless you could use any of those the third could be using fragrant oil for your diyas so if possible you could use it for all the diyas that you have in your house or probably for one main diya in your house either could be fine and there are a lot of uh, brands these days which have uh, diya oils which are fragrant so a lot of it like pooja you is from um, cycle brand then we have om shanti from cycle brand i guess hem also has and a few other brands if you just go online and look for uh, pooja oil you'll get quite a few fragrant options so you could use those and while we are discussing fragrant oil you could even make your own so in the normal ghee or oil that you use for your um diya you could just add a few drops of say camphor oil or clove oil or just you know mash up a little camphor and add it to that oil you could add a few drops of attar if you have you know any good essential oil if you have you could just add those to the fragrant oil Uh, to the dia oil and make it fragrant the other option could be the wick that you have if you have some time beforehand and if you have the wicks you could just spritz a few uh, you know sprays of some kind of floral water or you know camphor water or if you have those kalava and if you like using kalava for the bati you could just uh, soak the kalava in some kind of fragrant water and then dry it and use that wick that is also going to give good diffusion i mean the good uh, fragrance uh, the other option could be you could also use attar or any kind of perfume that you have on your wick perfume by perfume i mean fragrance natural ones the rose or sandal and any of those kind of things so you could use those and uh, let them dry and then use these wicks the next option is scented candles 
So these days we get scented candles a lot, so you could buy any of those. But uh, there are a few things to keep in mind. So you might just not want to go in for the paraffin ones, even though I some people say that you know we have good quality paraffin these days. I'm not really sure. I don't like the paraffin ones. Uh, you could use soy wax. You could use uh, bees wax or coconut, ap apricot, any of those waxes, you know, any kind of good waxes that you get. And we have scented candles from a various from various brands these days. For that matter, even scenting secrets have their own scented candles. If you're not aware, you might just want to go visit their website and check out the candles there. So they have that. And in fact, they have it made in nice brass containers, which looks really good. But I'm not sure because I haven't used them myself. So I, I am not sure of the quality but of course you get quite a few sandal uh, you know quite a few candles in the market these days the scented candles so those could be another option then we have the option of sprays so we have quite a few room sprays that we get in the market we have it uh, in cycle puja you is the brand we have it in Escon, we get it from Escon, and uh, I'm sure there are many other brands. But I I really like the Cycle ones because Cycle ones have come up with fragrances that are very closely linked to the idea of puja that we have in a house. So you have fragrances like rose, parijat. You have camphor sprays. Camphor sprays are really good, and then you have uh, stuff like turmeric. So you have that also. You might just want to check out Puja You from Cycle Brand. That's a really good option. And Iskon also is a good option. Iskon has quite a few good ones, which actually gives you that feeling of Puja in your house. So Jasmine, Rose, Sandal, all of these nice ones are there. So that is another option. And the last option that we have is you could use some incense resin that you put on either on the incense warmer or on the charcoal. So if you're using charcoal, one good way of using ch with the charcoal, what you could do is those, you know, just uh, soak those charcoal briquettes in some either gulab gel, kevada gel or any of those kind of fragrant water that you get and then dry them. Then when you use them, when you light them up, you're going to get that fragrance mixed with whatever resin or havan samagri or bahur if you use on them. So those also are going to be good ones. So if you have a combination of these things around your house, you know, for around at least two to three hours, the house is going to smell good. And then if you have stuff like, you know, vaporizer, you can just plug it on and forget it. it's going to be there for the whole night, especially the camphor ones. It's going to make your house smell like, you know, really camphoracious. It's that is one of the best fragrances that you can have. To invite Lakshmi energy in your house. So camphor vaporizer is something that I would request all of you to get. Even uh, whether it's for Diwali or otherwise. It's really going to. Other, unless and until you have a problem with it. You might just want to get it for yourself. So that is going to be a really good one. Now the three bonus points that I had for you is. One is if you have uh, you know place a few drops of uh, essential oils on cotton swabs and uh, just place them on say light bulbs or if you have any kind of bulb in your house and like I have a Himalayan salt lamp in my house so I just put a few drops of essential oil on that lamp and it really gives a good fragrance uh, you could have those ceramic diffusers just place a few drops on those ceramic diffusers and place these diffusers all around your house so you could do that the other one is using good organic natural perfumes of probably vetiver or rose or sandal any of those place them you know just uh, place a few sprays on your curtains on your bed sheets and you know all around you like that um, on the furnishing so you could uh, spray it on your sofa and your bed and even wear some kind of nice perfume on yourself so place some nice organic perfume or attar and have them on your pulse points and just be your fragrant self. So even while doing puja, you must wear some kind of perfume that night for, uh, you know, for a good puja experience and for a nice fragrant Diwali. And the last bonus point is to use an incense warmer in your house. So that is also going to be a good one. But because incense warmer also needs either a tea light candle or a dia. So you might just want to use something which will go on for long and, you know, help you have a nice fragrance in your house 
so the, these are the all uh, you know these are some things that i had in my mind that i just wanted to share with you guys and you could use any of these any or all of these options to have a fragrant diwali i wish all of us a very nice very fragrant very happy diwali and may ma lakshmi bless us all with wealth of all sorts and prosperity so that's all we had for today's episode i hope you enjoyed this episode and you learned something from it if you think somebody else can learn something from it to share it with them if you have anything in mind if you just let me uh, you know let me know in the comment section below if you have any query or anything and till we meet again next take very good care of yourself namaste